Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, another narration. This one is between Golden Sun and Dice. Golden Sun here is under the Alt February Stars. Um, I was looking at the records for how these guys have done in Callus Invitationals over the years. Uh, Dice is 5-4, I think he's, he's won 5 series, lost 4, and Golden Sun has won 4 and lost 3, I think. So both of these guys are positive um, in, this, uh, in this competition. Now this is obviously the first round of Calus Invitational 4, but just it's worth knowing that in previous tours they've done very well. Um, they've, they've gone positive, so two very talented players here. Golden Sun has been a bit of a hallmark in ADV tournament history, really. He's um, one, one, of the, one of the SPL regulars. Um, Dice has always been an SPL player, but he's, he's never really been kind of... Um, I suppose ADV isn't his only uh, avenue. He's got, you know, BW and a lot of other tiers. He's quite proficient at. Um, but stylistically, um, Golden Sun often uses offense. In fact, he almost never uses stall. He's kind of he's gone into a bit of mag kind of stuff now. A bit more kind of uh, mag bulky balance stuff now. But uh, yeah, he's mostly an offense player. It's what he's always felt more comfortable with. Um, Dice is a really creative builder, um, builds all his own teams, and then he's just really kind of, uh, he, he, can, he can play anything, he can play uh, some really janky stuff that uh, proves to be quite effective. Um, so both of these guys are coming off good uh, tournaments, I suppose you could say. At Golden Sun went 4-0 in World Cup, and then I think Dice went like semi-finals in, in Advanced Cup, so... Both of these guys are really, um, they're really hot right now. They're, bo they're both on good form right now. So I'm looking forward to this one. Let's get right into it. I'm actually just gonna put it on slow. All right. So Golden Sun gonna lead Kuhn and Dai's gonna lead Meta. All right. So when you see lead Kuhn, I immediately think um, it's gonna be bold Kuhn max HP, max defense, um, and it's going to be indicative of a relatively stallish team. When I see lead meta, I don't know much about the team, but um, it could easily be like a Houdini set or whatever, so let's just see what goes on. So let's see what happens. So Dice surfs right into it and he gets EQ'd. Um, that's not CV damage from that EQ. So Dice now is going to switch out to Bliss. And he's actually going to get roared here. We're going to see a Skarm. So Dice running some form of uh, some form of TSS balance here. Um, Golden Sun just going to surf right into that Skarm, and correctly predicts it to roar and makes an excellent gets an excellent uh, reward from that. Mag comes in here on Skarm and he's going to get rid of it. No spikes up at all for Dice. So he's going to play this game completely spikeless. He does have a Dug in the back though. And so he will be able to get the revenge kill here. We're learning quite a lot about Dice's team here. He's only got two unreveals now at this point. And Golden Sun does have a spiker of his own. Dice does reveal though that he has a Starmie. That's quite interesting. So Bliss comes out of Golden Sun's own. So, hmm, interesting. I'm not sure what the lasts are gonna be for Golden Sun. Anyway, Starmie does just get rid of the spike. I'm gonna see Bliss, he S toss it down. I'm not sure what the Starmie set would be on this. Um, I'm thinking if you run it with Doug, you could easily make it offensive. So no, he's actually got Surf and Spin, so he's probably a recover set. Yeah, if he's switching it back in, he's probably a recover set. Um, Kuhn definitely really, really threatening to dice now. He hasn't revealed Sand so far, and he also has no spikes up, so he has no real immediate way of pressuring the Kuhn. Um, he's probably going to have to get some predictions right with meta, maybe have to boom the Kuhn. Surf now does 48, and meta does boom. So, Golden Sun not... Uh, I mean, maybe he didn't mind losing the Kuhn, but I feel like that Mon just swept. So, you know... I guess he, he didn't want to play the games of you know switching out into Skarm or whatever on, on the uh, boom prediction. 
but uh, either way you could, you could argue um, Golden Sun played that one a bit loose maybe he doesn't care too much maybe he thinks he beats this core with his team as it is perfectly fine so he doesn't need it um, but yeah I probably would have played the mind games with Kuhn there either way we are going to see a freeze here with Ice Beam it's doing a lot that's modest Blissey modest damage um, yeah and Gar is it's 60 and frozen after that that's really rough for Gar so Blissey for Dice does have CM um, yeah not a hugely popular set but a pretty good one to be honest it's kind of it's looked down upon um, a lot of people think that it's it's kind of so-so or whatever but CM Bliss is actually pretty good so Golden Sun jumps back out to his own Blissey here on Dice Starmie nice prediction for Dice I want to see what, Star what Starmie's set is does it have Toxic so Blissey does actually have Wish here yeah these two guys are just going to chip each other down a bit here um, I have no idea what the lasts are for Golden Sun. Um, definitely another rock resist somewhere, so maybe a mag, and maybe lax or something like that. I'm not sure. Ice Beam comes out here, doing 31. Yeah, Modest Bliss, he hits pretty hard, to be honest. Bold, for most practical reasons, is generally better just because. Um, you know, Blissey's incredibly high HP and you're making so much use of that with that increased defense that um, like Bull just takes hits so much better than Modest does um, but th there are obviously benefits to running Modest I'm kind of a Bull spammer I'm, I'm much more uh, I've got much higher affinity for gold for a Bull than I do Modest but uh, to each their own and Modest obviously does have its uh, it's selling point. So Dice is going to try and wake up the Gar here. It takes another 40% Ice Beam. It's within one now. And he is going to switch it out again to Starmie. This Starmie hasn't revealed Toxic. Um, so it probably doesn't have it. I'm wondering if it's the last move. T-Wave. Well, if it was T-Wave, you might even have used it. No, it's Psychic. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, so he reveals Psychic now. Skarmie is going to get a bit of health back here does have toxic too so he can actually pressure Starmie pretty well both guys um, running sandless teams no sand which is you know it makes the games in advance significantly longer and that's what you're seeing right now this is a what try and see now it's a tr it's 34 turns at the moment and there's we're still not uh, we haven't progressed that much just yet Yeah, so this Skarm should be able to pressure Starmie pretty well with uh, with Toxic. One of the big benefits of running Toxic Skarm these days is, uh, unlike Drill Pack, Toxic Skarm does actually beat um, Starmie. Oh, that's a very nice Drill Pack prediction from uh, Golden Sun. Wow, I was not expecting that. He gets rid of that guard, so no chance of a thaw here. Yeah, but I was saying um, one, one nice... Uh, Oh wow, Dice just forfeits. Never mind. I was going to say that um, one nice thing about Toxic Skarm is just that it, it does run down this variant of Starmie to recover me, which is kind of like the, the bulky me that isn't seen as much these days. Um, yeah. I mean, that seemed like a pretty premature forfeiture to me. Like, we didn't know the last two here. If it was Lax here in one of these slots, then... Yeah, I guess that makes sense, but I, I definitely wouldn't have forfeited there. I, I don't know what that's about. Um, yeah. Hmm. Dice, under the impression he couldn't bring this one back. Obviously, he's heavily... Um, he's, in a, he's in a really bad spot here because he can't break the Blissey. And... Um, well, actually, he doesn't know if he can break Blissey. I mean... Oh... Oh, it's Serene Grace. I'm just looking here on, on the screen. It says that it's toxic. He had Serene Grace Blissey. That's why he wasn't using it. Um, 
I wonder, is that a mistake, or is he trying to avail of those, uh, if that's CM set, he, he's probably just trying to avail of the CM set, but, uh, it works heavily against him here. He has to forfeit prematurely because his Blissey is now out of the game, and he has no real way of, uh, of breaking the opposing Blissey. But I, I don't get why he didn't play for a Dougie crit or something like that. Um, definitely seems premature to me. Either way, um, weird game. Obviously, Golden Sun did get a a, uh, a more beneficial side of the hacks, but still, I, I think that was pretty premature. I'd have liked to see him make a, an offensive Dougie double and then try and uh, try and crit the Bliss or something like that. Either way, game one goes to Golden Sun. Let's see if he can die bring it back in the next one.